Hey guys, Ray McCoy 411. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do something just as simple as putting up this wash and go. My God has put it on my heart for me to open up about something. Okay? Now, and this is not the this is not about breast cancer. This is this is something way 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 more deeper than that okay and yes I am all smiles and I'm happy and I show up this big thing of energy and that has always been there this is just warm water warm water to refresh my curls uh, to break some of the cast it's not much of a cast and then I'm going to go in with some of my cream of nature. This is the leave-in conditioner, but I also have a little aloe vera juice in here, okay? So, yeah, I said so. Um, I'm going to paint a picture for you. I'm going to say 15 years old, very first date. Excited, spent all day talking about it, just Ooh, just so excited, guys. I met this guy. And we had been talking on the phone. And the, my friend had introduced us over the phone. I was so excited because it was my, like I said, it was my very first date. And he picked me up. And I was like, oh, my God, he's picking me up in his car. Woo, 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 woo. Conditioner. And I'm like, oh my god, no, I'm going to the movies, blah, 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 girl, you can't tell me nothing, I can't wait to get home and page my friends, because back then we had beepers, we had beepers, baby, I couldn't wait to get back home and beat my friends and tell them I made it back, what movie we saw, and all that, so, he says, you know, he was open the door for me and everything, okay, it wasn't hard on the eyes either. Just wasn't hard on the eyes at all, you know? So, I'm not really good with this rat tail comb, but I'm going to try it. Because Jeanette Beauty say, use it. <laughs> she probably going to end up suing me for using her name so much. But, anywho. So, he says, you know what? Dang it. Left my wallet in my cousin's room. You mind if I slip by there? I gotta, he, you know, he's from out of town. And, um, you mind if I slip by there for a minute? Because I gotta get my wallet. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So then, you know, there were no cell phones out there. So you can't call and say, hey, I'm on my way over there unless you stop at a payphone or something like that. And on top of that, I was just very naive that he didn't use a payphone to call or something like that. But, so, we go to the room. He go, he knock at the door. That's what I thought. He knock at the door. He say, well, my cousin must have ran to the store or something. Cause he ain't in here. He must have took my wallet with him. So come on in. Let's let's um wait for him to get back. And from the room phone, he pays him and he say he put nine on one. Cause we was gonna be late for our movie day. Well, to make a small well, to make a long story short, we never made it to that movie. And when I left, I was not a virgin anymore. Hmm. I did not dress to sell myself. Okay? I did not dress to sell myself. It was not a for sale sign. I over and over and over again said no. 
No. No. No. So, as you may have come to a conclusion, I was raped at the age of 15 on my very first date. Now this thought that I thought had went away because I couldn't tell anybody because if I tell my mom then she's not going to let me go on another date or she's going to think I, you know, I'm lying or something like that so it's something that I had to keep bottled up on the inside and I hope there are some young girls out there that are listening to this because I heard a pastor say if you want it bought don't put the for sale sign on it okay I didn't have a sign on me okay I did not have a sign on me I was just a 15 year old girl that was excited to be going to the movies. That's it. So I tell you young girls this story. I know you may be excited. I know you may be excited. But at no point, at absolutely no point at all, does no mean yes. Don't let nobody tell you that because you were wearing this skimpy dress that you was asking for it. Okay? You are not asking for it. Don't let nobody tell you that, well, you should have got to know him better. So it's your fault. No, 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 no. It's not your fault. No means no. No means no. No, okay? You can go somewhere, I wouldn't recommend this, but you can go somewhere while butt naked around a guy and you can still tell him no. No means no. Uh, and, you know, I know my channel is about natural hair and everything and I, I know that but like I told you guys earlier or you probably haven't seen the video yet there's a lot of stories that I have and a lot of things that I want to share with the world so hence the word real McCoy I've been through some things, baby. I've seen some things. And I'm going to share it all with you all. Well, that happened a long time ago. Why are you bringing that up now? actually got a friend request on Facebook. No means no. My 
attacker's name. And I'm not ashamed to say anymore. Cordell has. If something happens to you guys and you say no, please tell somebody. Tell somebody. You don't deserve to feel what I'm feeling right now. I thought about it didn't break me. It did not break me. God has me in a place right now where awesome things are happening in my life. Awesome things are happening. So the devil tried to throw a little in there. Guess what? It didn't break me. I shed some tears. That's okay. Because guess what? When all said and done, I win. I won. I won. I live to tell the story. I live to say the name. And it's just so happened that God gave me a platform where I can talk open up to other people and do something that I love to do. So guys, there's more to the real McCoy. Now I'm going to share it all with you. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Become a part of the real McCoy gang. That's right, guys. I came up with a name for us. The Real McCoy Gang. And it's not all about natural hair. We're going to lift each other up. We're going to play in our hair. We're going to still do things with our hair and everything. But most importantly, the Real McCoy Gang is going to lift people up and lift up each other. So if you know somebody that can relate to this story, go ahead and share this video. I have no shame. I'm not hiding it anymore. There were some people from, from my church that knew, but I'm not hiding it anymore. I'm saying the name. I'm saying the name. And I have not said that name. And since I've just said that name, there's like a burden that's been lifted off my shoulders. So, the Real McCord Gang it is. Uplifting each other, sharing with each other, laughing with each other, crying with each other. That's us. All right, and what I did I'm sorry to my hair is I just re-moisturized it. Put a couple little gray tails in the back. I don't know if it's straight or not. And from there, I put my nightcap on and I rest because that did not break me. I have two, two beautiful children and a husband that loves me. And I shed the tears because it was sad. It was sad that a person could do that to another person. That's sad. And I wiped my tears away because it's over. No more being quiet, y'all. Speak up. 
Speak up then. Don't wait till, you know, even if you think something bad is going to happen, if you speak up, speak up. Okay? Keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. And you all have a blessed day. I apologize for the timing on here. But I'm going to let you all have the whole video. Love you guys.